Well, good, good morning, everyone. I'm Scott from the old Curiosity Shop. Let me turn the radio down. Okay. And that's an actual radio station that plays all this old music. Not a satellite thing, but an actual brick and mortar station with volunteer DJs sitting there spinning vinyl and CDs. Anyway, uh, okay, here comes a preamble. Let's talk for a minute. I'm in the truck, leaving uh, Philadelphia as usual, headed somewhere. You asked for it, and you're going to get it. Now, what did you ask for? You said, turn the camera on, leave it on the whole time. We want to see everything. Okay, now this goes against my nature. And I have to say this in advance, especially if you are new or somewhat new, to the old curiosity shop because I still get comments where people say uh, oh my goodness I can't believe you know and I understand when people say that but you have to understand also I am not I don't just consider myself not that there's anything wrong with this you know a lot of times the term reseller means you'll just buy and resell anything I love antiques and collectibles and I've always been into that and I always will. So I don't buy and sell new things, what I call new. And I really, once we get in, you know, into the 60s, boy, I really drop off. I will buy some things from the 60s, as you know. I do like some mid-century modern and some of the 1960s design. But anything newer than that, I just have no interest. So be prepared, you're going to see me walking by all kinds of stuff, and you may scream and say, you fool, you fool. You wouldn't say that. But that dish will sell for $100. Good. Let somebody else buy that dish and sell it for $100. I'm sticking to what I stick to, and that is antiques, Victorian. Uh, you know, I love the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Art Deco, glassware, depression glass, uh, good design, EAPG. Well, you know. So that's what I'll be doing. Now, I'm going to try my best to leave the camera on, but that's going to mean going home and doing voiceovers. You've got to understand that as well, because with the camera on and the music playing, unless you're talking the whole time, if the music is too loud, you get all these copyright strikes. So I'm gonna have to do voiceovers, and I don't know if this is gonna be boring or not. Get ready, we're gonna give it a whirl and see what happens. Okay, the next time I turn this camera on, I will be walking into a thrift shop somewhere in Jersey. Let's do it. Well, I lied. There he is telling fibs at 8.53 in the morning. I stopped and got a coffee at my little speedway. And, uh, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you before I get in here. Now, don't you give me thumbs down on my video if you get mad because you get seasick because I'm filming the whole thing. <laughs> I'm joking. But actually, I did want to tell you, did you notice? Um, now, I knew it was coming because as a YouTube creator, I get, I get, uh, heads up on things, but I don't know how long it was two months ago three months ago Did you notice that the thumbs up and thumbs down? count yeah Disappeared from view aha Now who did that did I do that no cuz I don't care I mean I don't mean to say I don't care but sometimes people just are I don't know they're in a bad mood and they give you a thumbs down I don't pay attention to that but, I'm pulling into the parking lot, but YouTube made the decision, corporate decision, to hide the thumbs up and the thumbs down count so that it's not visible to any viewer. And that is supposed to stop people from just being mean, you know, just bullying people and going on and just <coughs> giving thumbs down because they want to be nasty. Uh, if I want to, and I don't want to, and I don't take the time, you can actually go and you gotta get into your analytics somewhere, somewhere in there, and I stopped.
and you can actually go and find out how many thumbs up or thumbs down thumbs downs you get I never look at it I really don't I enjoy what I do and I'd rather if if someone wants to talk to me about something then say you know say hey you know this might could you do this or could you do that or slow down or speed up or you talk too much or you don't you know just give me the pot give me the feedback in a sentence not just in a thumb up or thumb down so anyway no, that you can't see that on anybody's YouTube channels at all uh, just in case you were wondering gee I wonder if Scott turned that function off no I didn't YouTube turned it off okay so I really was just kidding um, let me know what you think uh, this time I I am gonna turn the camera back on as soon as we get inside okay that's it good luck to me and you since you're watching hmm all right, everybody, I'm in. Oh, my car. Now, the music hasn't started yet. How about that? And I might be the only person in here. Uh, we have to wait and see what is on sale up here. And while I'm waiting, let me get my tag along bags right here. Let's see here. We're waiting to see what's on sale. Okay, violet and blue. Isn't that what it said? Violet and blue. This is the first bank of shelves that you get. And actually, hold on, hold on. Let me just look at this. I know it's not. Oh, look, 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 look. Ah, Czechoslovakia. It's another cigarette holder. It's $4. It's an elephant. And it is pre-war. Look at that. So this is 1930s or 40s. I'm sorry, this is 1930s. I'm going to make sure that I hope that he didn't have a tail that was broken off. I'll peel that sticker back. That's, that's old. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, right off the bat. And I just had a Japanese uh, cigarette holder a few days ago. Okay, what I really want to do is you, you guys are going to have to hold on to your Barker loungers because I'm going to go fast. Uh, I want to look and see. Look at this cut to clear piece. $12. I don't think this is that old. No, it's made in China. Like I said the other day, they're still making that cut to clear. The hint on this is this brass. It just doesn't look old. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. Now, normally, what I do when I get into the thrift shop is I very, very, I go very, very fast. And that's going to make you dizzy. The reason I go fast is the store just opened and you've got to be fast you can't just you know pussyfoot around because somebody's gonna get in there my nemesis is gonna get in there and she's gonna grab the good stuff before I can get it that's no good oops so I'm gonna go back over the shelves a little bit slower there's a 1930s Japan that's it let's make sure it doesn't have any problems with it a little chip right there this isn't terribly attractive, but it is made in Japan and it is old. Okay, look under there. You see that made in Japan mark? Ooh, I am not paying $25 for that. That's what it would sell for on eBay with luck. It's pottery. It's made, am I blurry? Um, it's made in the 1930s. Uh, it's, you know, that Japanese 1930s made in Japan and I'm not paying $24. I think I just completely repeated myself. Look down there very quickly. Do we see any depression colors? Any mid-century colors? No, that means we're going to come back. We'll go back again in a minute. I want to get down here to the uh, aisle where they have the dishes. Yeah, that Japan piece was okay. It's not redware. There's another name for it, which I have forgotten at the moment. 
Um, in fact, I have a vase at home on my phonograph that's got those cherry blossoms in it that's made out of the same type of a composite material. Uh, all right, here we've got our typical... This is okay. This is the General Electric. See it? The GE Mixing Bowl, 1940s in white. There's a peach luster piece, which has lost a little bit of its luster. Haven't we all? I guess I better speak for myself. Ooh, look. What do you think? Little barkeeper's friend will bring that back? Nope. Not for all the rice in China. Let's see here. Quickly, quickly. Are there any Maxfield Parish prints? Mm, I don't see any. Let's turn. I know you get mad because I hardly ever look at the silver to see if there's any silver here. I guess we'll go back and do that again in a minute. What is this? That does not look old. No, I'm sure that it's not. There's a nice EAPG. Oh, that's neat. Is it cut? No, it's pressed. I still like it. Ooh, it's got... Ooh! Five bucks? Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's not bad. Okay, this lady is talking. Well, I'm talking too, so... Let me get out of here and I'll come back so that you can hear me. How am I doing so far? This is probably a hot mess. I won't know until I get home and see. Everybody says, oh, go back to the old format. Let's see here. Franciscan apple. I don't need any of that. There's plenty of that floating around. Now, you guys know that. But that's the old, that's the California back stamp there. See that? That's the one that the collectors really like. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Turquoise. One, two, three. <gasps> Is this Anchor Hawking Delphite snack sets? Please don't tell me that they're outrageously priced. It's Fire King. These are only $3 each. I'm about to have detached retina. Do you know how hard it is to find turquoise? Then there's one, two, three, four. There's five of them. There's the teacup. There's the snack plate with the indentation there for the saucer. And I know it's anchor hocking. I can tell that shape. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. Is anybody watching me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. These are fantastic. 1950s mid-century. You never find these. And they're only $3 each. And they look excellent. This is really hard to do with one hand. Oh my gosh. Are you guys flipping out right now? You know you are. Oh. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe there are five of them. And they look like they've never been used. We'll show you later that they are... Uh, they are ovenware, Fire King, Anchor Hawking, and they did not reproduce these. I guess the elephant will be okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe my nemesis isn't here. Calm down. All right. Now these are okay, but you know, you pay $1.99 and then you sell it for $4.99. So I'm not really into that. I also am not really into the Corel Crazy Daisy stuff or whatever that is. It's just not my not my thing. <gasps> that is my thing. Oh my gosh. Did everybody just jump up and down? <sighs> I have to turn the camera around so you can see me. All right, now let me see. I hope I'm getting all this on film. It's already eight minutes in. And I'm lucky because they don't have the music on. Jeremy must, must not be working. Jeremy is my buddy that works here. Trust me, if he were here, the club music would be on. Now, what are these? Mid-century. Uh, okay, I didn't see any mark on the bottom and I don't feel like messing with them anymore. Be careful when you see this enamel wear. 
Before we turn it upside down, let me tell you, they reproduce this in China. And I have a feeling these are those Chinese reproductions. Uh, I don't see, it could be under that sticker. These look pretty good, so is that that's yeah watch those things watch it watch it watch it here's a piece of judaica i think uh yep four dollars and here's more depression glass this is a uh Let's get that out there. Is that the cherry? Which pattern is that? I can't. It's got so much dirt on it. Uh, I think that's a hawking piece, and it is five dollars. Mm. Oh wait, she just wheeled out new stuff. Anyway, this is really dirty. No problem. I can clean it. Uh, five dollars for that vegetable bowl. Is it cabbage rose? It's so hard for me to see what this pattern is right now because of the dirt and stuff that's on it. Uh, and I don't want to put it in there and break my other dishes. Oh my gosh. All right, let's, let's hold on to it for a minute. I'll probably buy that. But then again, I might change my mind. And then there's something else here I wanted us to look at. This is a, uh, this is cut glass. Mm -hmm. And let me see, this is a console bowl that's missing a lot of its gold. I don't think I'm gonna be buying that piece. This is a little blonde piece here. This looks like Clevenger glass. This is mimicking, Clevenger Brothers made glass like this. It's called South Jersey glass. This is actually mimicking colonial uh, South Jersey glass or Cape Cod glass. It's all blown. It's $5. I might buy that. I don't know if it's Clevenger Brothers or not. It probably isn't, but we'll put that in there. because I do like the color and I like to look at it. Anyway, back to this thing. Is this a rose bowl or a ferner? What is this great big thing? Oh my gosh, it's really heavy and it appears to be, well, it's $16 and I take it back. It's actually, this, this is pressed. This up here is cut, but this is pressed. So this is okay, but it's not anything to, you know, lose your wig over metaphorically speaking as far as I'm concerned okay now I have to tell you this you don't know I'm looking around and I can see that some of my uh, competitors uh, no I take back the word competitors some of my fellow thrifters have arrived and so they're running all over the store just like I am and normally I wouldn't be filming right now I'd be running all around too. It was just luck that I, oh, this is cut. This is, this is cut. That's a nice heavy cut piece of glass and it's $8. Okay. What I'm going to do, because I can't do it with the camera in my hand is I'm going to come back and feel that in a few minutes and see if it's all chipped up. But, uh, no, what I was saying is it's you've got to run around very quickly as soon as you get in the store because it the people are waiting and when they get if you're lucky if you get here like I'm lucky that I got those pieces of uh, blue glass down here I'm gonna I'm gonna be back in just a second hold on oh Kidoki, I have moved on to a second thrift shop and this is a voiceover you guessed it, it was just uh, too difficult in there to speak and record at the same time. Okay, so here we go. I don't know which colors are on sale. There's a pressed glass divided dish. Ah, oh, 
come on. Another piece of haul. You thought I would have planted it there. Four ninety nine. Hall, H-U-L-L. We don't even have to turn it upside down. We know it's the real thing from the 1940s in the cart. Wonderful. I like Hall. Not everybody does. Did I just see a swung? There we go. You better get it. Boy, that's a flung vase. $5 on that mid-century piece. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's in the 50s again, so I put my short pants and my long sleeve shirt away and got my blue jeans out and my sweatshirt again. There's another very nice ice lip pitcher, which I think I just decided to leave. I'm going to give myself a break on the uh, ice pitchers for a hot minute. Oh, there's one... Oh, that's a big, heavy guy. Now, some of this glass is called press cut, and Imperial did it, McKee did it. Uh, press cut is actually a, a, a copyrighted name. I, and I don't remember whether it was Imperial or, or I don't remember. It might have been. But you see what I'm doing? I'm going to set that thing down and come back to it. The store wasn't crowded, and I really want to be able to put the camera down and run my hands over that. But what I was saying about press cut is sometimes the, the, the it's, all, it's all pressed, but then they did some hand cutting on a wheel. Now that's not the same thing as American Brilliant, but it's somewhere in between just plain old pressed EPAG and cut glass. Now there's another pitcher. Somebody was really donating these great big old heavy glass pitchers. So I put that one down there to go back and, as I said, I'm going to put the camera away and then go back and look at it. So keeping the camera on. I know there's, you know, I, I can't pick up and talk about everything. So I see the American Cube, uh, Faustoria rather, and I know there are other pieces that you see. Um, and yeah, well, you can hear the music. I think you can hear the music playing a little bit. Uh, in this store. So that's why I, uh, I had to turn it down. Tur had to do the voiceover. All right, some Christmas dishes up there. And there's a little cute little thing. What is it? I couldn't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, glass bake. Mm hmm. By McKee. Well, I'll tell you, I'm happy with the with the hall and the swung vase. There's a, a probably a, a, a Noritake piece, maybe, or a made in Japan uh, casserole. All right, coming around the corner here. She'll be coming around the corner when she come. And what does he see? He sees a mid-century coffee pot in aluminum. Okay, that's a nice one too. Mm-hmm. With a Bakelite base. Eh. Oh, plug inside. That's nice. I don't think I bought that one. In fact, I, I didn't. I put it back. It was okay. But uh, you know, I don't I don't buy every percolator that I see. Mugs. And lots of clear glass. They're changing the way they're doing this particular store, and uh, this whole aisle didn't used to be just clear uh, crystal, but that's what they're doing now. Boy, you got to really study it. It's hard to see. Mm hmm. I recognize that. Uh, there's. Usually I see it in the yellow and brown, the gingham. I think it's called their gingham pattern. Um, the uh, Vernon Kilns. Is it gingham or plaid? I don't remember, but I don't usually see it in green. I always, I always see the brown and the yellow. I have to keep refocusing because the camera stays on. You'll see me refocusing. Now, what am I going to... 
what am I going to? Well, you knew it. You knew it. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's only four in there, but I've got a fifth one at home, I think. Mm-hmm. So I'll add my fifth one to it, and I'll have five of those and probably sell them. I can't remember if it's Libby or Federal or... I don't remember who makes those. I'll look it up later. I like them, though, with those snowflakes on top. And the blue. Now, here is what appears to be a matching set of six. This would be from a water set. It's pressed glass. It's, it is EAPG. A big picture would go with it, but look very carefully. One of those tumblers does not match. So five of them are one pattern, and the sixth one is different, and I'm really studying them there. I don't know if you can see the one that's got the price tag on it has a different cut to it or different uh, mold. And, uh, you know, I just, $6, eh, it didn't speak to me. So back on the shelf that goes. And then right next to it are those uh, antique automobile 1950s Hazel Atlas. You'll see the mark in a minute. Look there. You see, well, you just barely. Uh, just, mm, you know, wasn't really interested in those. Now, here's this cheese keeper. And I have to tell you, um, all right, I didn't buy it. Um, the... <laughs> You know, it's okay. I was a little suspicious of this. It was very, 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 I mean, very heavy. And you always hear people talk about something having a good weight. Well, just because something is heavy doesn't always mean it's good. I was also suspicious of these, of the hallmark on the back. I didn't see any, uh, anything embossed in the, if this was English, in the uh, mold itself. And just something about this was telling me, mm, I don't think so. You know, the other thing is, and I did check, some of them sell, some of them don't. Sometimes, it depends on the pattern. This is just made in China, you'll see in a minute when I turn it over. But... Uh, yeah, but back on that cheese keeper, it's just not a popular item. And because I had some suspicions about it, I just decided to leave it there. Um, you know, I, I didn't, I expected to see some crazing of the, of the glaze. I expected a slightly different color to the ceramic underneath or if it were porcelain. And I did not expect it to weigh, you know, 50 pounds. It was so heavy. And that mark was kind of strange. So I left it there. Mm, let's see. Speeding down this aisle looking for any old type of uh, art, art. I do find a piece later on in this, in this movie that you're watching. You'll see me find a piece once I go to, uh, to another store. I don't know why I called it a movie. You know what I mean. <laughs> the little show. Look at that wire guitar thing. I wish that was one of those wall, 1950s uh, wall hanging things, but it wasn't. I know golf clubs can be valuable, but I don't know anything about them. Scanning the anti scanning the electric light department. Don't see any shades. I'm looking for antique lighting. And it's not looking for me. And we didn't find each other, not this trip. So I think that might be it. Okay. Okay, store number three. Now look at that. Depression era sandwich tray. They called these, they usually called these sandwich trays in those days with the blue enamel and the gold encrusted band. 
unusual in blue. And this I uh, picked off of the shelf. It looked old from the front, and when I turned it over... No, I don't understand Chinese characters, but when I turned it over on the back, look at this wonderful Art Deco store label. Strauss and Hirschberg's. Is that it? Strauss and Hirschberg's. Ah, oh, that's got to be some, you know, fantastic gift shop somewhere in Philly or New York. Who knows? But you know it's right out of the 1930s, 40s at the latest with that awesome tag on the back. Probably doesn't have any value, the little uh, print itself, Asian print, but I can't wait. I haven't looked yet, haven't had the time to find out about that department store, but I'm going to. Ooh, a uh, squid. Mm-hmm. We don't want that. I was watching some special on PBS. Apparently, these are these monster squids that we don't know about that are down so far down in the ocean we can't even get down there. And they don't even have eyeballs because there's no sunlight. You can't see. Well, I'll tell you what. That squid can stay right where the good Lord put him, way down there. And I'll stay where I'm supposed to stay. Now, I don't know... What that what that was, but it wasn't old. Oh, you're about to see something funny in a minute. They're going to wheel out um, a fresh shopping cart, and the people that hang out in the store all day long. I will admit, though, they were very orderly this time. Sometimes they go nuts. I mean, oh my word! Uh, but you'll see it in a minute. They do. I'll blur them out because I don't have permission to film them, but I filmed them anyway. I'll uh, blur out their heads. Uh, but listen, I just can't do it. I cannot hang out in a store. Here's this, um, who is he called? Uh, you know, Laugh Clown Laugh. Um, uh, the French Clown, whatever that thing is. But those bookends were not old. I looked at them because he was a popular Art Deco motif. No, it's just not my... Uh, business model to hang out in the Goodwill all day and jump on carts that come out. But I kind of think it's funny when people do it. You're going to see it in a minute. But they, as I said, they were very orderly and they weren't yelling and smacking at each other. So that's a good thing. Now, what am I doing? What if I, oh, there's that poor little uh, goofus glass plate that nobody wants. I should buy it. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Watch, watch, watch. Look, look, look. <laughs> that, 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 that everybody comes running and, uh, of course, they were already there. I missed them as they charged the cart, but everybody's just reaching in there, digging away. I can't do it. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Okay, what am I going to do next? Oh, there's that man with that vacuum cleaner. Seems like I could never get away from him last year. Every time I started to record, out would come that, that vacuum cleaner. Here's a teapot. You recognize Hall again. H-U-L-L, -L, 1940s, 50s, missing its lid. It's kind of ugly, wasn't it, that teapot? No, well, I don't know. Maybe it was okay. <laughs> now, this is that nasty waffle iron that you said I should buy it and clean it up. Look, the, here, here's a... Now you know why I said no. Look at this thing. Now, you ready for me to open it? No way. Mm-mm. That is supposed to be shiny aluminum under there, or stainless steel, actually, not aluminum. There is no way. There's not for all the rice in China would I bring that thing home. That is too far gone. <laughs> I'm just joking, I know. Uh, well, no, I'm not joking. I don't want that thing. Look, 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 another underplate to a cheese and cracker set. Mm-hmm, 1930s, this one, also gold with the orange, and I didn't buy it. 
You, that indentation there is where the cheese compote would go. And as usual, they get separated. Mm, that's not anything of any interest. Mm, what are you pointing at, Scott? They all know Franciscan apple. Oh my goodness, I've gotten some wonderful things so far, and I'm not going to reveal everything in today's video. I want you to come back tomorrow because I, I just found so many wonderful things. This looks like... Okay, someone has repainted the red, and this is one of those left in uh, Hollyberry Christmas items. So the red has been repainted on that bow. That was nice. I don't normally see, I guess that's like a little candy box or something. And uh, I was attracted to the color of that mug, of course. That's obviously going to be a made in China piece or something new such as that. But yes, 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 please come back tomorrow and I'll show you uh, what I bought some of the things you've already seen because you saw me put them in the cart But there are a few things that caught my eye that I didn't actually film and you're gonna see those tomorrow when we do a thrift shop reveal oh, What was he what is he doing? He's got us up. Ooh, oh No, 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 you can't do that people are gonna fall out of their fall out of their uh, platform rockers Where am I now? Oh, oh, oh I'm back in Philadelphia. Now get your camera still there. Uh, and I'm at the Circle Thrift Shop. I think I'm on, yeah, I'm on Frankfurt Avenue uh, in North Philly. That's a pretty little dish. They write with some type of crayon. I think $2 was written on that one. And... Uh, I don't recognize the etch on that console bowl. That, I forget, maybe, I think, was that $6? I don't remember. So anyway, we're back in Philly. I think I've got my camera stabilized here. Mm. Oh, this was nice, this little creamer with the big chip in it. We'll get it in so we can see it. Made in England. Yep, you just... That English pottery, there's a feel to it. There's a look to it. There's your Hawking Ruby Red. Royal Ruby. And let's see. I don't know about those used plastic. Oh, there's a pink uh, tidbit tray, sandwich tray in a depression pattern. Did I get that or not? I, I didn't even let you see the price. All right. See anything? You, you know I'm going to pick up that. One dollar each, the little pink etched ice, iced tea glasses or water glasses there. Hmm. What is that? Well, apparently I wasn't interested in it. I put it right back down. Now, let's see. Let's take a look at the sign. See, Circle Thrift, and then green is 50 cents, yellow is half price. Okay. We saw something yellow just a minute ago. Now, none of these lamps are old. This is right in the middle of a neighborhood, uh, a Philadelphia neighborhood, this particular thrift shop. And sometimes I find some really nice things. Here is a $4 depression glass sugar bowl. And, you know, it was only $4. I did buy it. There weren't any chips or cracks on it. Uh, whether or not that particular pattern was reproduced. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Some, sometimes I have my little pocket guide in the car. I can check. 
But this was so cheap and in such good condition, even if it were, it turned out to be repro, I bought it anyway. And I kind of don't think that it is a reproduction. I think it's an old piece. But I have to look it up. So I got that sugar bowl. Nice, nice view of the floor. Great camera work. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so, the, so I can sit here and make fun of myself. Um, it's not easy. I've got a basket in one hand, the camera in the other. And let's see here. Oh, look at this. All right. Turn it upside down. We're going to see a... All right, it's half price. You see that little sticker? The Japan... That's typical, of course, of the 1960s, you know, after the war. So now we're into the 1960s. And I know it was still attractive, those two people dancing. It looked like Mary Poppins and Dick Van Dyke. Uh, and it was only half price, so it would have been $2.50. But for some reason, I just decided to put it back. Oh, warning, 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 warning. All right. This might not be appropriate for all ages. You'll see when I turn it over. Now, everybody's fully clothed on the front. Oh, 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 I warned you. I did warn you. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea. Let's look at this again. Oh, my goodness. It's an ashtray, and she's saying, oh. Yeah, well, we can see why. Now, warning again. You know what I'm going to do with this. I'm giving it to Vintage Vinny, so he better not be watching. He's got a birthday coming up, so that's right up his street, Vinny. And even if you're watching, that's yours. <laughs> a little on the risque side. Okay. Just a little risque. Made out of aluminum, I think. I don't know how old that is. I like this creamer. Looks like maybe it was made in Austria or something. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying to yawn and not have you and talk through a yawn. Pardon me. You think Vinny's going to like, if you watch Vintage Vinny, he loves risque pinup and whatnot. He'll love that ashtray. Now, back here is where they keep their uh, holiday things. Kind of sparse today, but I have found... Wonderful vintage Christmas, Halloween, and Easter on right there on those shelves. Not today. So I think I'm getting ready to wrap it up. I want to thank you for going shopping with me. This was a lot of fun to keep the camera on. Oh, 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 no, I forgot. Look at these pieces from an old... Probably an old cotton mill sewing. Well, not cotton mill. We don't have cotton mills in New Jersey, but um, textile type of a mill. You know, where they had looms and whatnot. You know what I'm trying to say. This one actually says, I think these were all $3 each. There are a few more of them. Oh, there's a little piano sustain pedal. <laughs> I really like this one. I kind of wish I had bought it from one of the old Philadelphia factories. That's probably a hundred years old at least. That old spool. Yeah, they were each three dollars. That would have kind of made a nice little grouping, yes? A little collect connection collection. This one on it says Columbia Silk something company in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. So from old old mills in the Pennsylvania area, that's an old one too. We'll see. Maybe they'll still be there when they go on sale. I was trying to see where that one came from. Ah. Uh, but wouldn't they make a nice grouping all together? You know, found objects, you know, the way people like to decorate. But $3 each, that's going to add up 
still, maybe I could have sold the whole collection. Okay, I think I'm about to wrap it up. Hey, everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on back tomorrow, and I'll show you what I got today. It was a lot of fun taking you shopping with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and it wasn't boring keeping the camera on. I'll try to do more filming like this uh, in the future. Oh, one more thing, I try to say goodbye. This really is it. I have never found a complete set, but here are three. Anchor Hawking Platinite Lotus Leaf Plates. The cups are gone, but the dessert plates are there. We've got the yellow, the blue, and the green. All I need is a pink one, and I will have a set of four. Okay, now that is it, but I did buy those. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop. Wait for the cat. And so long for now. Well, you should know I am flushed flushed with excitement over my purchases today and I can't wait to show you.